Hi, if you're a traveling guitar player, teacher or influencer, this video is for you. Hey guys, how you doing? Guillaume here at Thurman. Today we're looking at four travel amps. They're all really small, really lightweight and all battery powered. So we'll be doing like a clean uh, sample and a crunch sample on both. Look at the features. All the excerpts that you hear uh, go through the emulated output. And at the end of that video, we'll do a back-to-back -back comparison with a room mic. And uh, you can use the poll that's gonna be right up there to tell us which one's your favorite and let us know why in the comment section. Uh, if you want to see more of that, subscribe, give us some love, and uh, you know, all of that. The first one on our list today is the Blackstar Fly 3. Uh, we're going to review the amps from cheapest to dearest, and this one goes at about 65 uh, euros. You can check the link in the description for the exact amount. It's got a gain control, it's got the volume control, uh, the ISF, which is the tone control going from an American voicing to a British voicing, and a delay with timing control. Also has auxiliary in if you want to use your phone or your computer to use backing tracks for example uh, and an emulated output if you want to play with headphones or use it to record which is what we're doing let's hear how this sounds clean first and uh, with some gain afterwards <laughs> Amp number two is the Laney Ironheart Mini. Essentially the same format, same, pretty much the same size and weight as the Blackstar, except it also does Bluetooth if you want to use it as a speaker only, and it uh, can be controlled through an app if you're using to record uh, direct, which is again what we're doing today. Same thing, first clean, then gain. <laughs> Good enough for rock and roll! Amp number three on our list today is the Nox Mighty Light. Pretty much the same layout as the other ones. It's got a volume, a gain, a tone control as well as delay. It offers Bluetooth just like the Laney, but on top of that, uh, it's got three channels instead of two with a clean crunch and gain, as well as a built-in drum machine, which is super cool. Uh, if you don't have your phone around to put on backing tracks, you can always use the drum machine to just jam on. Uh, we're gonna go through the channels now. Last amp on our list today is the Boss Katana Mini. It is slightly bigger, slightly heavier than the other ones, but because it retains a lot more features as well. It's got the three band EQ instead of a single tone knob. Also has three channels, clean, crunch and brown sound, as well as Bluetooth and an app that allows you to add more features, more effects and just control the amp. And now this is how it sounds. <laughs>
right guys, time for the room mic comparison and this is why this guy is here. Essentially these are two microphones that if you at home put on headphones uh, will give you the impression that you're in the room with us. This is going to be placed under the main camera right here and now I'm going to play the same riff through all four amps to give you an impression. Alright, so that was it. I hope that gave you a better idea of what to expect from these amps. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been Guillaume at Thurman and I'll see you guys very soon.